Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to talk about making lower poly props for iClone here, which is, this is my poker room. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, just give you a quick little tour if I can kind of turn around from where I'm at without doing too much. Oops, sorry, let me back up here. There's our little, uh, that's Marty. He hates his job. But, welcome over here. So now what I wanted to show you, the only problem with this is when I had five tables, uh, the number, these are all individual chips. Like if I just select oh, one chip, I can pull it out of the rack there. You know, these are all individual chips. And that's great, and that's I'm going to keep it with one table having real chips like this. But the problem was if I select my white chip stack of 50 chips, it's 48,000 uh, triangles which the only problem with that is if you have five tables with eight you know um, eight uh, chip chip racks per chip rack eight rows of uh, whatever you want to call them or eight columns of chips per chip rack and there's a bunch of tables it becomes more than I clone can handle or at least with my machine I got to where I had three or you know when I got to three tables to five tables it stopped opening so this is go to, let me go to poker table two, or for now it's poker table zero. And let me kind of uh, zoom in here a little bit. I've already done the green one and it turned out so well, I decided to uh, make a video about it. Now I'm gonna show you really quickly how badly I did my previous attempt at this. My thinking was, well dang, this is too much. This is why I put this project on hold because it was, uh, I decided to make a flat tabletop image. I just took a screen, not a screenshot, but I took an image of the, the the first table I just showed you and tried to place it on top, and it ended up looking like this. I'm going to try to paste in. I already made this video a long time ago. Now, as you can see, that looks like crap if you're within close enough to see it. But my thinking was that was going to be just a background and it would look okay, but even as a background, even as a flyby or, you know, anywhere just walking by, you could tell it was fake. So I decided to redo this with low poly chips and they're kind of at least with the chips are the biggest culprit. There's other culprits if you have a lot of people, but chips are the biggest one I had with my scene here. So we'll get to why the, the how I did this really quickly. I'm just showing you the, the what I, the, my little duplicator tool I built. I did the green chip. This is one, let me select my uh, green chip full stack. That is 960 uh, triangles, which is the same as one single chip. So instead of 48,000, it's 960. So that's a pretty good trade off, a 50 to 1 trade off. So that way I can actually include, you know, five tables or whatever number of tables. It should be a still a pretty reasonable uh, you know number of polys and you have the the full table you're usually only gonna if anybody ever used this for a scene they're only gonna record one scene at a t you know one table most of the time close up and the rest of them having this from far away would be you know perfectly okay and let me go ahead and show you how I built this so you know if you, if you zoom way in you know you can tell that's a picture and there's obviously some imperfections with it but it's a uh, you know, compared to the tabletop image, this is like, you know, the, I don't know, the difference of the space shuttle and a paper airplane is what I would call it. So that's good enough. You know, you could even, nobody would know on this unless you zoom. It's kind of like the movie uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey where the, if you read the book, I don't know how well the movie did it, but in the book, you can't read the the cereal boxes. They, they knew what food to show us because they had watched our commercials, but they didn't, they couldn't read the ingredients. The zoom wasn't close enough in the seventies technology of aliens. I think the aliens that got here could read our, you know, figure out our ingredients a little better, but that's a whole other story. So we're going to go ahead and get started on how I built this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wrote this little program this morning. It is called, I'll go ahead and start it. I called it in Image Randomizer, and the source code is on GitHub. If you're an iClone user and not a programmer, I plan on making a uh, an executable version you can install. So I just mainly a lot of this is a it was, it was a prototype this morning. I wanted to see if I could do it because I, I did the first one by hand, and it looked like 
crap and it wasn't very random so I decided to redo it so let me show you how this works I'm gonna use the white chip so let me select my white chip row okay so that is just one this is one pixel it's a four pixels high tall the height is four pixels and the width is 582 pixels okay and now I'm gonna select my target image and the first time I did this I selected a white image and I wasn't thinking because I came back and added an increment. Okay, now here are the max value. I just happen to know that I need my values to be 1 to 86. So as this randomly creates a random number of how far to place this to the left, it's going to place it uh, somewhere between here and all the way over here. So, and we'll have to do one last thing to make it, to fill in some of the areas with some white, but that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead and say the number of slices it wants to create is 60, but we're going to change that to 48. Because we have, just to show you here in iClone, if you look at this, there's the first two are already created for you. Like here's the, the very top chip, and here's the very back one. Or just This is uh, from this. This is the front, this is the back, I believe. Or if I'm wrong, it's the other way around. So... Now we're going to go back over here. I was just showing you that's why we need 48. And I increased my image size enough to kind of handle that. And here I put an increment of 1. What that does is, this is why I used a black background also, because with that increment of 1, it, uh, it fills in the lines, but it also it takes the slice and moves it down 1 pixel for each time I copy. Now that that looks kind of not too random so I'm gonna just do it again you know you can it doesn't hurt I don't know why sometimes they just come out but random numbers are one of those things this is about as random as you can get because it's the way I did it's pretty uh, this this library I have anyway we're gonna go ahead and save the image so I'm just gonna say um, okay so that's four one six one nine I could have had it launch or something but this was all prototype mode Okay, so here's our little image, so I'm going to select this, and then next I want to open up my white chip image. Um, sorry, let me open it up, thought I had it here. So I'll open up the white chip, I'm going to open up this one, the PDN, it stands for paint.net, which is just the, the default format for paint.net. And I'm going to paste. This isn't going to fit. So what I've got to do, I resize this a little bit so I can have it to be the size I needed. 600 by 600. Okay. And let me zoom in a little and see. That doesn't matter. I can resize it a little. thought I messed my head. Okay. And let me see. Okay. All right. That looks good enough. This doesn't have to be perfect. The hell, this is the... Uh, you know, there's a little bit of, I can see some, uh, you know, little flaws in there, but chips, you know, this is, as again, this is our low poly version. So compared to what I had before, you know, we're, we're like doing great. So we're going to call this white chip stack 50.png this time, because we don't want to be, our iClone needs a PNG. Okay, so that flattens it out to one layer. Now we're going to go back over to iClone, and I'm going to select my white chip full stack. And okay, and if you can tell, it's a little bit, um, the first chip, the, the front might be a little brighter. I noticed that earlier when I did this, and to fix that, there's a few ways I could do it, but I'm going to use my site, which is... Uh, pixeldatabase.net just to show it to you. I don't need to be on Twitter. Just to show it to you really quickly because it's good for stuff like that. It is free, so feel free to uh, check it out if you want. And here is the white chip. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I want the white chip 50. That's fine. Then really, I guess I'll, yeah, I've got to do this one. I can't do the PDN. I was going to say I should do the PDN, but can't do that. Okay, and if you look at this, I'll turn my color picker on. 
just to get one of those let's see okay so that's very white but because of all the black lines near it oops sorry this does it the total here is 765 so that's very bright this seems like this is not quite as bright but maybe that's just the way it gets applied in iClone uh, see some of that's a little lower so what I'm going to do is just take this right here and I'm going to say update if I could spell if you can't spell you can click uh, that it'll spell, type most of it in for you update set adjust all so I want to do red green and blue and I'm going to say minus 30 I'm going to type where and on the next line I'm going to say because I clicked right here so I'm going to say y greater you can type it or use these buttons whichever you the buttons are not perfect but they work most of the time and I'm going to say total greater than oh six ninety or so or five ninety somewhere in there I don't want to get rid of like the blue and anything else but the really bright stuff we're gonna take it down that just takes it down just a little bit you know we can probably notice a difference in iClone if you could have done this in your own graphics program I like that because I can do only the bright spots or only parts of the image but I'm probably biased because I wrote it I'm sure so white check um, excuse me white chip stack 50 we're just gonna say yes and replace it if it was anything really valuable I would uh, probably create another copy white chip stack 50 I mean um, yeah okay it took it down a little bit I don't know if I my eyes sometimes adjust. it takes a second to adjust but that looks a little better I think so that is our white chip and again you know there's some places I see some gaps in there that, that don't look perfect but if I took our uh, white chip stack and kind of rotated it, got the whole stack, yeah. And I noticed this was, when I did this earlier, this thing must have, I had probably, it needs to be a little bit of adjustment like that. And then if you, so basically it should spin on its, you know, axis, but that looks good enough. I'm not going for a perfect. Again, this is our, uh, I think it needs a little, little bit. That's going to do too much. I have to do this through uh, the numbers. Sometimes it gets a little... Okay. Yeah, I'll mess with that later. But mainly I wanted to just show you. I thought that was a pretty neat way to... Uh, now I've got... Let me... Sorry. Let me select my... If you have the wrong thing selected, it's kind of hard to work with. I think that looks... Even from way back here, you know, you can't really... Uh, I mean, I don't know how... You'd have to be sitting, you know, if your camera was... Like a bit, you know... The dealer came over and had to sometimes I see like the four people have to come over and bring a new set of cards or something if you came in to show that you still couldn't tell I mean that looks it looks almost as good as the original it's just you know if you get way in here you can start to you know that's where you start to tell it's not it's, it's a you know a picture not one uh, not a bunch of individual chips but I'm gonna do one more and then if you want to download this project I'll show you how so the 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 issue I'm not really sure about, or I'm going to have to kind of experiment, is these short stacks because I don't want to use my same picture or that will make the, um, the images uh, come out differently. So what I'm going to do is just kind of scale things down a little bit. So we're going to do the green short stack next and then I'll let you, that'll be all I'm going to show. So I'm going to run this again. Well, I've already got it running over here. So we will... I'm going to do the, this is for the green short stack, so I'm going to go back to our, I have this green row, which, let's see, there it is, green row, and then I've got, I'm going to use that black image again, that works really well, but for this one, let me just look at iClone to guess the short stack size versus the big one, that's about 32 chips, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, about 32 chips so we'll scale things down a little bit instead of doing 48 so we'll make that 32 and I'm gonna make our increment one but I'm gonna change our I'm gonna make a copy of that black image and doing some quick math in my head I'm gonna take make this image two-thirds the height so I'm gonna make that 162 And I will call this one Black Source Short. I'll call it Black Source 32 something. 
I may have some other sizes. Okay, now coming back over here. So if I select this again, I'm going to do black source 32, and it fills in 40, but because we're going to be doing some um, slicing, that's okay. It's probably going to turn out pretty well. So let's just see what this looks like. Okay, index was out. Let's, I'm going to start this over. I think it didn't like me uh, changing it. I'd never tested redoing it, you know, running twice in a row. Minimize that or close it. Don't need it. Okay, so next we're going to take our green row again. And then I'm going to do our black short stack. And then I, and if this gives me the same problem, I'll just use the black big stack and figure it out. And another okay, max value here of 86 for our randomizer. Okay, so that is our short stack. Let me uh, save this image. It's it ends with seven one two nine. Okay, I think what happened there is it appended some numbers twice, but that's weird because I don't use that big of a number. But okay, it ends with seven one two nine. So we're gonna open up that folder. Here's our new image. I'm gonna go back to our this and this one will end up with a little bit um, it should have less number of divisions but that's okay because it's a shorter stack so that's kind of the, the whole idea that looks kind of there okay I think that's about right we're gonna say save as and this is going to be green stack 32. I think I have a short stack somewhere else. Okay, now we'll go back over to iClone, do our short stack, green chip short stack. Probably doesn't like that name, but. And we're going to call this green chip stack 32 unique. Okay, and I think we did it. So that looks pretty good. I don't know. I think this is a. I don't know, obviously other people aren't going to have poker chips, they're going to have something, and I can tell just by looking at this, I have, somehow my cylinders look a little bit oblong, I'm going to have to uh, work on, uh, like, trying to get them to where if I, I think if I just spin it a little bit, just kind of by looks here, that looks okay. Uh, again, this is not our uh, main prop, this is the a low poly prop so that from you know let me make sure that height looks the same as that and it doesn't so let me first raise it up I want to put them side by side so I can tell if it's actually just smaller and it does look to be smaller sorry I can barely see that green on green there okay just looking at it to see. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect, but I think I may need to uh, scale that up a little bit. I'm trying to look at it from here, which is probably the... Okay, so I'm gonna go to the first. Yeah, if I s transform this a little bit, let me go to our transform. Do them all at once, and I'm going to just go a little bit bigger. I'm not sure, I guess because I made that image a little smaller for that. I did, so I need to figure out. I need to go to 150 instead of, that's too big. So maybe I was right the first time, 133. Still too big. Okay. I'm just trying to, my looking at things are kind of hard for me to tell how much bigger this is but I think that's a lot more space on this one so we went too big okay it's, it's probably not an exact science because that still looks bigger to me on the green so we'll go back maybe I do need the one 16 and then I'll uh, make it a little shorter this way like that I think that's what we need 
Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out about where it starts. Uh, and this one, I could even take the uh, full stacks and make them a little smaller. But that was my short little video. I thought it, you know, I haven't done, I'll do the rest on my own. I just thought I built this little tool and I'll post the links in the description if anybody wants to download it. And if you find that program useful, I think it's pretty cool for uh, duplicating. Um, sorry, where is it? You know, just to take it. You can do it a few times there to kind of, you know, if you get one you like. Some are more random than others. Now, it's really weird that it's looking like this because the way this creates the number, it creates the modulus, which is just the remainder of this, like, uh, really large number. You know, it always it creates a really large random number. I may need to do some more. I'm, I'm getting some stuff that looks more, this doesn't look very random, but it's still, that's good enough for... A chip rack which is what this is for and I hi everybody I'm back I had to eat and take a shower and walk the dog and do a few things and now it's uh, quiet at one something in the morning so this is a good time for me to finish I've already done a few more sorry I've already done a few more of my uh, chips since the last time we're here you know again there's some flaws if you zoom in real close to the green there's a little bug there and there's a little bug there actually part of that is the let me get that green short stack out of the chip rack. That was part of that. But there's a little bug there. That, that's like very thin chips. But actually, I've been in casinos with like really old casinos like the Horseshoe downtown. Some of those chips are 30 years old probably, and they wear down to almost you can see through them. So there's definitely some flaws, but the, you know, again, compared to the tabletop of an image, this is like, you know, it, it's it's perfect. This is all I'm going for. Let me scoot. Some of these chips are just a little too in here. Okay, and I've done the uh, the purple one. So now we're just going to finish off the black chip. Now the black chip I've got to do a little different because I I don't think a black uh, image is going to work very well. So I'm going to go to my uh, little folder here that I'm working in, and I'm going to open up my. Uh, Where's my black image here? Here, let me... Sorry, I'll just open one of these, doesn't matter. Okay, and the black chip looks like it's about 40 chips, just guessing, so I'm gonna go with 38 times five is 192, because I had about two extra for this, so I just want this to be 582 by 192. Okay, be a little smaller. I don't think this is going to, because this is a black image, I can already tell we're going to have an issue. So I'm going to save this first. I'll just call it source. I'm going to call it, well, I'll call it black source 192 for now. But, okay, save. Now the issue is if we take a black chip, now we've got to build our black slice. So if we go to, um, let me go to our black, here, let me, where's our black? Here we go. I'm gonna take one slice of this. It actually might work because that's not 100% uh, black. Let me zoom way in here. I'm sorry. Gotta get way in so I can see this. I can barely see on a dark background. Okay. So I had it and then it let go. Okay, I think that's it. But let me just say I can tell this is how I can tell how big it is. Okay, that's too small. Sorry, I was let me see what that is. I'm very zoomed in right now. Okay, we're gonna go one more. There. Image crop to selection. And if I select it all and say file new, it's four pixels. That's how I was telling how my how big my uh, selection was. There's probably some way down here to tell, but anyway. So the first thing I need to do, let me go to this, is I wanna put our stripes uh, all the way down to the end. So I'm gonna just move this, uh, move selected pixels. So 
So let that. Okay, that's fine about right there. And now I want to fill in my little uh, end here. There was another way I could have did that, but okay. So now we have our black slice. So that's what we're gonna call this. Black slice. Now we're gonna run our little program here. I haven't ran it as the EXE yet. I've been running it through Visual Studio, but it's on my list to make a little uh, EX, a little install for anybody who wants to run it. Sorry, let me minimize whatever is open here. Okay. And we'll go to our black slice. There it is. And then we're going to go to our target image is going to be our black 192. Put in our 86. Number of slices, we only want 38. And we're going to give it an indent of 1. Let's see what that does. Okay. That means our images are not the right size because this happened to me just a minute ago. So we're going to stop this for a second. Let me go look at what this is 582 and 192. Okay, let me go to this. Oh, that needs to be 582. Okay, that's what it was. I, I was sitting there talking earlier. I was, I even wrote this code to, I thought I was going to have to take the indent from the end and put it at the beginning and I still don't know why I don't have to do that. It's one of those kind of mysteries but it's one of those uh, undocumented features that's actually good. Okay so we'll save that. We've got our slice. So let's try to run this again. That should be, this should be a little better. Once I figured out that if the images aren't the right size that can happen. Okay so slice here, 192 here, and I could, I have all this not hard coded here because I want to keep, see, I don't understand. That means I have a, I want to go look at the size of that again. Hang on. The size of black uh, slice. Okay. 582 and 4. Just seems like I'm getting 4 plus 1 is 5 times 38. 192. 192 is what this should be, and somehow cause I'm, I'm doing one extra pixel for each chip for the, the, the gap, the little black space that I want between. So let's just try it again, see what this does. Sorry, I was just wondering why. I was The thing that had me confused there is... Um, the number of slices is not getting calculated to where I think it that's weird that I've got that dot there but that's okay uh, we'll just make it 38 and 1 I don't know why I put this here but I was thinking you might want to draw to a part of an image somewhere else okay see that's good enough I'm not going to worry about it that looks fine all right, so now we're gonna get our black source image. So let me go to back to our directory. And let me open up our black chip, that's what I want, right? And we're gonna resize this to 600. And now I'm going to paste it. Let me get in here and make sure I put this in kind of the right place. Doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is our, uh, you know, it's made for, made to be dummy, uh, or, you know, it's just made to be filler prop, but still the better it looks, the better. So I think this thing looks, and that, you know, that looks like an imperfection there, but look at a chip rack, and that'll look actually pretty close to the way they, uh, okay, we're going to call this black chip one piece 40, because that's about how many, uh, all right, and now we'll go over to iClone, go to our black chip 
stack. And this is all, you know, that was just one piece right there. Now it's still going to be one piece, but it's going to be one piece that looks better. So we're going to call this unique texture. And there is our black chip. That actually looks better than a lot of them I've done so far. I was worried it wasn't going to look good, but that one looks, uh, the, the front looks pretty good there in the back. So that was one of our better ones. Uh, let me, sometimes I, I mean, make sure you see how, excuse me, let me see how it spins because I want to, sometimes I've noticed they're a little, yeah, that's a little oblong. I think I was, the chip, you know, I might have to look at my uh, other chips over there. They might be a little stretched out. Okay, and let me just stretch around for a little bit. Long as it, that's good enough. I mean, again, this is designed to be our uh, scene from way away. And the only thing left to do is the, the red one. So we're going to go ahead and create a red slice. So let me get a drink. And we'll create our red slice. So we'll start with the full stack. So we'll just take a, go over here, go to my red, where's our red chips? There we go. Okay. And I want to grab my, get way up in here so I can see. little much there and we only want four so we got one two three four image crop to selection back it up a little just so we can see it oh first I just want to make sure I've got the right size should be four pixels okay Hang on. I hit control a but I didn't hit the control C okay I've got the right amount sorry just wanted to make sure I had four pixels. I'm gonna move our move it from here over this way. That's fine. And I'm gonna fix this right here. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, so now we have our red slice. I'm thinking of changing the name of this to Image Slicer, but there's already some software that does that, so I'll just leave it as it is. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is run our little, oops, run our little, wrong place, our little program again, which is right here. I'm going to see if it, I'm going to see if it works twice in a row. I had a problem doing this earlier, but we'll see what happens. I might need to uh, restart it. So let's go to uh, that. We'll use the black. This is the full black source. So I've got somehow my stuff is not sorted by name. Let me go to details and sort by name. Okay. And now I can go back to extra large. So I just want the, yeah, that's the full one because this is the full stack. I've got 86. This is going to be 48. And one, that all looks good. Okay, and the issue again is because our images are not the same size, so we're going to fix that. Stop it for just a second. Let me go over here, open up our slice right here, and we'll make this 582. And if they line up, now we save it. Okay. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I, was, I was just I thought I saw something at the end that had like a little gap, but that's looks good. So now we'll select our. Uh, let's run our program again. Select the red slice. Somewhere. Red slice. Okay. Now we're gonna select our black source. Eighty six. 48 and 1 okay I don't like that though just have to look at my randomization it looks like this is uh, got some issues but that's good enough for there okay and we'll just go get let me open up that so 
sorry. Uh, okay, so here's the one we just created. All right, so now I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard and I'm gonna open up our red chip. Let's see, I made another video and I was using this folder. Don't know why, but it's just where I was, okay. Open up this again, and now we're gonna resize this to 600. Paste in our little image. We gotta do a little resizing. Let me get way up here to make sure I'm doing it in the right place. Looks about right. Where's the little thing? barely see that okay and just trying to see that looks about right I'll go down one more just to be safe okay and that is our red oh I didn't go far enough I thought I was all the way down here Duh. okay this one's a little different I don't know why I've got green there where the rest of them all have black it's a little uh, strange but Okay, and now I'm gonna put a little, I'm just gonna change that green to black. Okay, that's okay. That'll look fine for this, I think. So now we're just gonna say save as, and we'll call this uh, black chip, I mean red chip, one piece 50, or full stack, whatever, that's fine. And we'll go to iClone set our red chip stack and let's see there we go unique okay now we have an issue here first I'm gonna take it and spin it and try to get our little issue of the oblongness fi fixed and then we're gonna work on the texture a little bit let me spin it a little more, see if it still looks... Yeah, it looks a little too long right there. Hang on. Go over here again a little bit. If I can get to the right there. Okay. just want to get it... still doesn't look exactly right. It should spin like... Okay, it's a little off right here. Uh, let me modify, make sure its pivot is in the right place. Okay, it still seems a little... There. I have to make it a little bigger now. Let me go to its transform, uh, and we'll make it, it's probably a little too big, but I'll make it about 94, I'm trying to see next to these other chips, I think that's probably about right, it's a little too big, we'll pull it in a little, Let's see what that looks like on the, we need to, Probably a little more than that. Okay, and now the only issue we have is that red and that. Let me see if it looks like, but from here, I don't know. I guess I'll make the red a little darker. And to do that, I'll just pop it into my site real quickly. I could do it in other places, but. So let me go to our red. this one and all I want to do is make this I think it looks a little the red looks a little too bright turn my color picker on so this is a real easy update set adjust all minus not even too much we'll do 25 where Y is greater than 236 that would have been fine and we'll say uh, yeah that's fine 
let's say total greater than 50. Okay, that's a little less, uh, and now I'll download that. So that is going to be our, oops, I don't need to be an output. And this will, we'll just replace what we had. Okay, so now we're going to try iClone again with that, see what that looks like. Where's our red chip? Okay. It's uh, trying to see the difference in the color, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's if you look at it for, let me, uh, I, I could, if I was really worried about it, I could fix it. But the whole idea of this is to be seen from this far away and from there, that looks fine. So, okay, so that was our red chip. Now we need to do the short stack red chip is the last one. And I'll put the video all together. So to do the short stack, we're going to do the same thing. Go over to our little program. This time, though, the black source is going to be... How big is our stack? Sorry, I'm just trying to guess. It's pretty close to our... Uh, let's see if any of the other... It's pretty close to the green one I did that was 32. So that's what we'll go with. It's, we'll make it a little smaller. Let me go to my uh, red chip short stack. I'll make it just a little smaller. There, it's about 32 looking. Let me go to the back, see where it's at. Oops. I'm in the stack a little bit. I'm in the rack a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do now is go back to our little program here. Sorry, didn't mean to, not taking too long. It'll be a long video, but that's okay. So now we're going to go to our uh, Sorry, brain getting tired on me now all of a sudden. So I want to go to our little program here and run it. That's what I was, I was like, what do I do now? Go to bed. But I've almost got this done so I can start my day tomorrow with something else. So go to, um, let me select our red slice again. Got too much stuff in this directory. I focus better with less stuff. Okay, red slice. Okay, and I'm going to select black. 32 there we go and I'm gonna do 32 86 1 randomize okay download our image and this is the one that ends with 2622 two, two. so that's got a lot of twos in it so we'll go over here here it is I'm going to go back to this. We can use the same one. We're just going to paste this and have to size it a little bit. Sorry, it's a little big. Okay. Right about there. And again, it's not kind of perfect. I'm going to look at this. I think uh, I'm going to try to... I may take that one little bit up at the top. Let me, oops, sorry. Yeah, that's what I wanted. No, not that. I wanted to, let me zoom in just a little more. Let me move my pixel up one pixel. And then I want to move this. There, it's got. Let me move that black down. Hang on. There's one thing at the very top I don't like. So let me see if I can fix it with. There. Okay. Good enough for prime time. This doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just do. This is the very. This is like. I didn't do very many edits like this manually, but this is one of the places where it looks like it kind of needs it right there. And then I'll fix this. I'm just trying to make this look a little better, but I, I didn't do this much at all. I did this for one other image like this, and I don't really think it's needed much, but let's see. I 
like something's missing here. It's like there's some. Like there's a lap. I, that means like looks like it's too high in that one place. I'm just gonna save this because it does not matter. I'm, I'm sitting here being a perfectionist, and I can't. Takes too long if you're a perfectionist. So we'll just call this red chip, one piece thirty two. Okay, and now I'll go over to iClone for the short stack. Sorry, I was taking too long on that. And this will be our thirty two red thirty two unique. Okay, good enough for. Oh, that's uh, no way no. So let me fix that. I looked kind of weird there. I thought something looked weird on that image at the top there. So let me go back. Let me put my UV. I've got this UV uh, transparent. Let me put it over. Let me. I've got that here. Let me find it. There it is. Let me put. No wait. I got a transparent one, not that one. Let me get my transparent one. A UV. Sorry, got way too much stuff in this directory, but I know. Okay, I got rid of it, I guess. Alright, so we'll just make it again really quickly. Let me go to pixeldatabase.net and I'll just add this in here. And this will just be a real simple hide, total less than 20. Save as. And we'll just call this UV transparent. Open. Go to this, add a new layer. Ah, that's why we're so off. So I was trying to figure out why we got so uh, messed up here. So let me go to our, uh, this is the one we want, I think. And I'm going to temporarily just, I'll hide this uh, purple for a second. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to copy that again, but I'm going to fix everything and just... Do that again, I had the wrong layer selected. Okay. Now we're gonna get this on our clipboard again. Put our UV map back, but I'm gonna be working. Oh wait. Hang on, fill that in. I lost our little UV map. Hang on. Okay, so there's our UV map. And I want to go to this layer. No, we'll be on this layer. Okay, let me fill this in with black first. Copy this. Okay, if I can do this all right, I want to be on this layer and just move this into place. Out of my way so I can see. Okay, and we go just out to there, it won't hurt. Yeah, a little over doesn't hurt, it's when you're under that is the. But I want it to try to be as even as possible. Ah, didn't want to do that. And sorry, I screamed like a schoolgirl again. Okay, so now hide this. Good enough for prime time. Not even going to bother fixing it. Save as UV. Should already be there, so yes. Okay, so now we'll try iClone one more time. See how we did. Red chip 32. Ta da! Okay, let me look. We're a little bit in the rack here. Let me. Pull this out. Uh, okay, that looks fine. And that is, I could uh, 
Let me fix our oblongness for this one. I may have to go look at my individual chips. Yeah, looks a little oblong. I wish iClone had a way to say like make per perfect circle. They probably, they might, I mean I don't know. Never asked anybody. Seems like it'd be a good feature. It still seems like it's a little oblong, right? Yeah. sure our pivot is right should be but okay. it's just a tiny bit that way then I'm gonna adjust our scale up is all I'm gonna do I'll just make this 106 just so it looks about the same size as the ones next to it again it's good enough this is our dummy one so that was our uh, chip rack so, I don't know, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to put a little install together for this program, but now I have a chip rack. Excuse me, now that I have a low poly chip rack, chip rack, I'm getting so tired I can't talk. So now this entire chip rack is the same as eight chips in the other rack as far as number of triangles. So the, the only other thing I want to do let me look at my black one. I don't think we're quite in the center on the black one. I don't know. I guess it's okay. Go to the black. I'm just looking to. Is it in the center of the rack for the black one? Okay. Looks fine. All right. So that is the uh, end of the video. And I'll show you, oh, this is what I was going to show you really quickly. Now that I have this, let me save this project. I've got it a uh, save project as, because I want to, it's two tables right now. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to put my little tabletop image back. I think I still have it, I hope. I was, it's funny, I downloaded this uh image from Google. I downloaded a video that I uploaded from Google and by the time I downloaded it, it was 12 meg and I uploaded it I know it was like at least a couple hundred meg so YouTube is definitely I don't blame them. I mean if I had to store they store my videos and don't charge me so I don't blame them for I would compress the crap out of my stuff too I guess but it's just kind of a, okay so let me make a copy of Poker Table Zero because it's not near as big as a uh, Trying to see if I had, if I have that little tabletop. I don't even know if I have the image anymore. Let me go to the folder above this. See if I have the, I had this little tabletop fake out here. I even have a little readme explaining it, but I'm gonna have to change my readme text now to, let me see if I can find my, I may have, uh, I may have deleted it when I decided I didn't like it, but let's see, it's probably going to, there it is. Okay, so let me see this right here. I'm going to put that, uh, let me, let me get over here to, as soon as our table finishes copying. Yeah, it takes a second, even with a short uh, stack like that, it takes a second to finish copying. So sorry, this is uh, more super exciting uh, entertainment here, but it's funny from way up here, that looks kind of a little bit similar to the way the, uh, the tabletop looks, but I'll go ahead and click on it while we're waiting just since we got all this extra time I wasn't expecting. So that's basically the tabletop that I made. So instead of having, you know, normally the tabletop is just the felt, but I made this so that the idea was this would be a, you know, this is like the extreme low poly. If you had five, you know, if you had 500 tables you wanted to try to mimic, you might have to do that. But this ought to work for this size of room. Let's see if iClone ever finished. Come on, iClone. It's the chairs is the 
the problem, I think. I made those little tables, by the way. Didn't take very long. I just took uh, a cylinder. Actually, the whole thing was cylinders. Three cylinders became a little table. Okay, finally. Nope, still not finished. So sorry, I hope this doesn't take much longer. Didn't realize making a copy of this was going to be such a ordeal. But if it, you think this was slow, with the make a copy of the other one is, uh, I don't know. I don't remember it taking much longer than this. It seems like, I don't know, once the, okay, there we go. So this is table three we have, and I'll go ahead and I'm going to, on table three, I'm going to temporarily get rid of the chip rack. I'm, I'm going to delete this. I'm just doing this to show you because I had said I would show you uh, my first attempt. And I I forgot not too long ago I deleted all my videos because of my hard drive space was running out. So I deleted about 200 meg of, 200 gig of uh, videos. And I realized after I did it I've got about five iClone videos I've messed up because uh, they had videos like screensavers and things like that. This, this project here even has one missing. I gotta remake my screensaver. Can't believe I deleted it, but that's okay. So now we'll go to our poker table. Go to our, instead of using the, uh, let's go to the felt. Um, not the chairs. That's the downside. I wish they didn't. I wish they had an option here. I'm trying to work on the table itself, not the stuff that are children of the table, but they tend to... Okay, let me... Holy cow, please tell me. Good, at least it sorts. Okay. It's like felt. It's what we're looking for. Poker felt. That's the. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to change this. We'll get out of here. We'll use this, and I'll just show you real. Where is it? What I do with it? There it is. Unique for sure. Okay, so that's the. That was the way. That was my first attempt. At, you know, this is kind of about as uh, lame as you can get. Now, here I've actually got my dealer. That's a real dealer button. One of those is uh, pretty sure this table has a dealer button on it. Yeah, so that's a real, not dealer chair, dealer button. There. That. Okay, so that's the way this looked. And that shuffle machine there. Where's the shuffle machine? That shouldn't be there. Delete that. I mean, you could see there. It had a picture of the shuffle machine too. So this was the way it was, and, and this has the cards too. This has the real cards. Uh, where's the deck? It's got a red deck and a blue deck. This does. So. Oh, I just deleted the table. No, I didn't. Okay, blue deck. Where is the blue deck? Okay, the blue deck's not there. So that's all it is. It just has the, the... So that was... Oops, sorry. Let me select this. So that was my previous attempt, and that looks really, you know, bad. And if you come over here... From here, it's not much different than this, but that's better. You know, especially if you're like... Let me kind of go to table two again. So there, kind of zoom back into the... So you can compare the. So I don't know. I can't tell a whole lot of difference from here for our one-cylinder chips, from our. Sorry, come way over here. And this is our real one. 
And I need to work on my deck of cards. I did that really quickly and just put the top and bottom. I need to work on the sides a little better. But anyway, I think it looks about the same. So that's, sorry. I hate this if I change. Let me go to the chip rack of that table. Okay, so I think I did a pretty good job though for reducing the poly count. I mean this project, I've got three tables now under a million. So before I had two tables, I was over a million. And I need to probably look at my chips. I think my individual chips have that same oblong issue. I may have to kind of look at them. Not really uh, too worried about it tonight. I'm going to go to bed. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any uh, questions. I'll go over here and show you one thing about Marty just while you're here in case anybody happens to watch this. Go over here to Marty and uh, just show you what Marty's... See, my little screensaver's missing there. I got to put my screensaver in there, but here's Marty's little notepad. And Marty's like... Let me show you this. I had this. I have the animation of him drawing this too. The pen's kind of moved right now. But this is a uh, Marty's kind of like, I don't know. I've, I've met a lot of people that worked in, I used to work in poker, but I've met a lot of floor managers and they all seem to have their own share of uh, issues. I mean, they were all real nice, but they were all just, it was one of those, every floor manager I met reminded me of a, a cross between, I don't know, I'm not going to dwell anymore. Let me move my pen though, now that I realized Marty, where is Marty's, uh, let me find that pen. I, can, I don't know if it'll let me select that. It did. Huh. Sometimes, sometimes iClone does a good job on stuff. Other times, it, it's really hard to select stuff. Okay, where'd my pen go? There it is. Okay, that's good enough. I just wanted to show you my little. Uh, I drew that little, you know, thing because Marty's like not too happy. And there's this little drink. He's got a coffee. And that. Ah, that right there is the same as the big board right here. And here's our README. I got to re-switch because I don't need it anymore. But anyway, that was my video. I'm going to go to bed. It's now 2.30 in the morning, so thanks for watching. Let me see if I can get back over to our, to at least end the video on the poker chips where we're supposed to be. Of course, it's kind of hard to navigate with the more stuff you got. I'm going to delete that third table before I forget, but anyway, this is our my poker chip rack, but that's the main poly and we'll go over here all the way to this one's chip rack. There. That seems to be the easiest way to get to stuff. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. It's not the most random uh, thing I've ever seen here, but still uh, better than it was better than that little picture over there okay for the 10th time i've said it i'm going to bed